This lesson covers growing and shrinking disks. I'm going to focus on NTFS, however this would also apply to ReFS. However, you're really not going to be using the XFAT for local drives. XFAT is really used for removable media. So if I have a volume, I can right click and I can say shrink volume. It's going to perform an analysis of that disk and tell me the amount I can shrink it by. Because this disk is empty, it basically lets me shrink it down to almost nothing. The reality is though, when you try and run this on your systems, it's going to scan the data on the disk and scan where that data is on the disk. To maximize the amount of shrinkage you'll be able to perform on a disk, you should always run a defrag prior to trying to shrink a drive. This will bring all the blocks of files and folders together and really optimize the use of a disk. If I shrink the disk, let's say I'm going to make it shrink by 100 gigabytes. I can also grow disks. So I can actually say extend the volume and select the amount I wish to grow it by. Notice it is giving me the option to use space on additional disks. This would then create a spanned disk. Remember, it's going to write to the first disk, fill that disk up, then write to the second, etc. Or I'm just going to use half of the space on that empty space at the end. So I can shrink and grow disks. I can also perform this from PowerShell. So for example, I can get a list of my available partitions. And I can see here that the one I'm interested in is this disk number three, which matches where I have this unallocated space. So it's saying I have a basic disk of 230 gigabytes. I can then get particular detail about that disk. So for example, I could say git partition, and it's my disk number three, and it's my partition number two. I can format this as a list instead of a table to get that additional information about the drive. But now I have that disk, I can actually pass this to the resize partition command. So I can actually tell it a new size. And I'm now gonna set it to be, instead of this existing 230 megabytes, I'm now gonna make it 250 gigabytes instead. So if I go back, I can now see I have a 250 gigabyte volume. And likewise, I can grow it, I can shrink it all from PowerShell. This concludes the lesson on disk resizing.